Can you believe this is a 100 watt solar panel? Let's check it out. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be checking out this all powers ultra portable 100 watt solar panel. And when you open up the box, you get the solar panel, it looks like this, and you get a whole slew of cabling and wires. It looks like you get some uh, alligator clips, you get four carabiners, you get a USB to a micro USB cable, that's odd. Uh, you get a whole slew of adapters, which is nice, and you get, it looks like a, uh, a looks like a 5521 cord. And then you also get your user's manual and a bunch of poison pellets. Okay, and first looking at this, uh, okay, I, can, I couldn't believe that this was a 100 watt panel. This is different than any other 100 watt panel I've ever reviewed. First of all, if it's folded up like this, it is 12.6 inches long and seven and a half inches, I guess, tall. And then the thickness is 3.2 inches. And then when we unfold it, it's gonna be 37 inches by 37 inches by like 0.39 inches. So uh, it unfolds to be pretty big. So I'm excited to see what this looks like unfolded. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, I made some room on my workshop bench. So let's go ahead and unfold this thing. Okay, oh, yeah. All right, there it is. Okay. Let's, let me give you a closer look. Okay, what this consists of, it looks like 15 individual panels, and they are the PET coating panels. So this, uh, this is not really meant to sit outside for weeks on end. I think it's more for like a weekend kind of backpacking, camping trip kind of deal. Um, and then all of these, I'm guessing, are connected in maybe series parallel, to this controller box right here, which looks like there is uh, two USB-A ports and a USB-C port and a, uh, a DC barrel plug port right here. And it does come with these, uh, these little loops everywhere so you can connect it via the carabiners to, you know, to multiple things. But right off the bat, the one thing I notice is, you know, this thing doesn't have any legs. So it's not meant to stand up on its own. It's got to be held up uh, either by those carabiners or um, it just lays flat in the grass. And there's another thing about this solar panel which I didn't know. You can actually chain them together. So if you have multiples of these, you can chain them together to get more wattage from your panels. See, this, this barrel port, there's a, there's a barrel port right here. There's also another one right here. And this one is where you would plug in here and run it to the other's parallel port, I believe, right here or the other way around. It might be you take it out of here and you plug it into this one of the other panel and then this one would go to uh, your power station. But I think that's a pretty good design. That way you could buy multiples of these and be able to get 200 watts or 300 watts. So that's pretty nice. And looking at the manual, it does say that you can only chain no more than four of these panels together. Uh, because what it does is it adds the amperage up. So it puts them all in parallel. So it keeps that same voltage, but it just increases the amperage. So you can only do up to four of them before you might start having issues with heat or over amperage problems. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and take this panel outside and we're going to see what we can do with it. Now, I've been kind of testing other solar panels, so I already have a 50 watt solar panel outside and a 60 watt panel outside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare this 100 watt panel to those and I'm going to plug them into different power stations to see if there's any difference between power stations as well. Uh, I'll have the All Powers S300 and then I'll also have the Pecron and an EV3A. So let's go ahead and just get all of that running outside. 
Okay, well we are outside and here is the All Powers 100 watt panel. And what I have next to it is a 100 watt panel from GoFort. Now, I was gonna do like a 50 watt panel, 60 watt panel and all that jazz, but I don't feel like those are very good comparisons. So we're just doing two completely different looking 100 watt panels. So let's first go ahead and plug in the GoFort into the EB3A and I'll go ahead and put the, uh, the screen right here so we can see what the, what the wattage is that we're getting from this GoFort. So let's go ahead and plug it in and you can see that it's starting, to, it recognizes the charge and it's gonna start charging it. And as you can see, I'm laying these both flat. They both don't have legs, so that's kind of the reason. And it is 11 o'clock in the morning, so the sun is pretty high up in the sky and it is cloudless, so it's beautiful out here. All right, and this 100 watt panel from GoFort looks like it's getting about 57 watts. So I'm not really too impressed with that. That's, uh, that's kind of a bummer. So let's go ahead and plug in the all powers panel and see what we get through the EB3A. Okay, and plugging in the all powers. All right, and the all powers, it looks like we're getting right around 60 watts. So a few more watts from it, that's pretty good. And I must say that both of these panels have been sitting out here for about 15 minutes, so they are nice and toasty. Okay, so next we're going to go ahead and plug it into the uh, Pecron E300 LFP, and we're going to see what kind of wattage we get going into that. Okay, first we'll do the all powers. Oh, I'm sorry. First, first we're going to do the GoFort 100 watt panel. And you can see that the output is uh, 6 watts because I'm actually charging that camera that uh, I'm using right now through the Pecron. So, all right, and our input from the GoFort is actually 62 watts. So that's, uh, that's better than what we were getting through the EB3A. Okay, so let's go ahead and unplug the GoFort and plug in the all powers. And look at that, it jumps right up to 67 watts. So again, we're getting about four or five watts better from the, uh, from the all powers than we are from the GoFort. All right, and last but not least, we're gonna go ahead and plug in the all powers S300 and we'll see what we get from there. Okay, again, first we're gonna try the GoFort. Input is ramping up. All right, and it looks like we've reached about 58 watts with the GoFort. So let's go ahead and plug in the All Powers panel to the All Powers power station. All right, I've been sitting here for about a minute now watching this, and it's taken a while for the All Powers to creep up, but we're looking at 65 watts. So that's, uh, that's quite a bit better than what we're getting from the GoFort panel. So in all three of these power stations, we were getting uh, some pretty good numbers, probably what, um, between five and 10% better wattage from the all powers than we were from the GoFort. And one other thing I wanna see is it says that the, uh, it says that this panel can output 60 watts from the, from the power delivery, the USB-C port. So we're gonna go ahead and plug this cable into the Pecron and see what kind of wattage we get from there. Okay, the Pecron is plugged into the USB-C port. Let's go ahead and turn off the output and plug the USB-C into the panel. And let's look to see what we get from the all powers Oh uh, yeah, look at that, 59 watts. 59 watts from the 60 watt output of this power delivery port in this control, in this junction box right here. That, that's pretty impressive. I was not expecting it to get a full, almost a full 60 watts out of this port. I was expecting maybe 50. So that's, I'm, I'm really impressed with that. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do, uh, I don't know what's gonna happen but what I'm going to do is I'm going to, because this thing can do parallel plugs. And it says that you should use two of these in parallel with the cabling. But I'm going to use, I'm going to try to parallel these two. So let's just take this plug and plug it in, take this out, plug my camera back in. Okay, and we're just going to be using the Pecron for this. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in. The Pecron, it can handle, it can handle up to 100 watts max. So we're gonna see if we can pull that. 
I don't know what's gonna happen here, so just bear with me. But we're gonna go ahead and plug in this part to the side port over here. And then we're gonna plug this in to the port on top. Okay, now let's see what the Pecron does. Oh, look at that, boom, 100 watts. 100 watts instantly. Let's see what we get from the, the, the Blue Eddy. Let's see, I don't know if we can get over 100 watts on there, but yeah, we're maxing out this Pecron, so let's go ahead and plug it in to the Blue Eddy. Hundred and eight watts, hundred and fifteen, hundred and sixteen watts. And this can only do eight and a half amps. This can only input eight and a half amps. So I'm guessing that we are maxing out the EB3A as well. But the good part is, is that you can buy a couple of these, or if you actually have another panel from another manufacturer, as long as they're the same voltage, you're gonna get minimal losses and you will be able to combine them. So that is really nice. All right, so I'm gonna go back inside and give you my final thoughts. Okay, so what do I think of the All Powers 100 watt ultra portable solar panel? Um, I, I kind of like this thing. I like the fact that it's such a small form factor when you fold it up. Um, unfolded, it's kind of big, but I think it would be perfect to be able to lay across the top of your tent or maybe like on top of your car or something like that. Uh, it does come with carabiners, so that kind of helps being able to attach it to different things. Uh, when, you know, because it's such an ultra, ultra foldable package, you know, it's not going to come with legs. And that's, for me, that's the one downside that it has. You know, the, it not having an option of being able to stand up on its own is, is kind of a bummer, but, you know, but still, look at what you're getting. You're getting this and you're getting 100 watts. I was really impressed with that power delivery, that USB-C port that's on this. I was expecting it to maybe give me 50 watts, but it really did give us you know, almost right at that 60 watt max, which was very impressive. Also the fact that you can parallel this. You can actually parallel it up to four other, you know, up to four panels. So you can get 400 watts at, you know, you know you'd still be at 18 volts, but you'd be getting, you'd just be increasing your amperage the entire time. And we were able to do it with just with that other go for it uh, solar panel. And it gave us, you know, it did do the parallel and it gave us more wattage. So, it, you know, you don't need to buy just for these, but it is highly recommended to keep the same type of panel when you are doing that parallel connection. Uh, overall, I mean, it worked, it worked well. Um, just besides the fact that it was kind of hard to position because of it's, it just kind of flops around and it doesn't have any kind of support or legs or anything like that. But most people will be able to manage through that. So if you have any questions about the All Powers 100 watt solar panel, uh, please leave them in the comments. Um, I'll have a link to this in my description if you want to look further into it. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day. Bye bye.